preacher is the mouthpiece of God. The preacher is a servant of God. Anyone who does not question Mr. Chamisa's sincerity towards his position as the president of the opposition in Zimbabwe should actually have to go through a medical examination. We are speaking as an observation that we have made, an observation that is worrisome. Why has Mr. Chamisa not been arrested to date? Is he a nice man? Is he a careful politician? <laughs> Why? Why we have even we seen Mr. Chamisa in court? facing charges of inciting violence and obstructing the, co the, the course of justice? Why was he not in, why hasn't he been invited <laughs> by the Anti-Corruption Commission? Yes. Because in Zimbabwe, an ordinary crime is being investigated by the Anti-Corruption Commission. A crime that has nothing to do with, 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 with corruption. <laughs> this convenient politicking by Mr. Chamisa is highly suspicious. Yes. The ruthlessness of Zanu PF and their blind eye towards Mr. Chamisa, mm. <laughs> it is too convenient to ignore. Yes. Mm. Last time I said Mr. Chamisa should shut down his party yes. because people, Zimbabwean citizens' lives are being put at risk by a non committal political entity that is only focusing on getting into parliament and starting to receive allowances for MPs and, and vehicles for MPs. When they get into parliament, they get too quiet, like puppies that are licking soup on a bowl. Mm. The triple C MPs are sitting in parliament like they don't exist. Yes. yes. The noise they make when they are campaigning and the silence that they make when they mm. get into mm. parliament, that, that, that variation is, is a cause for worry mm. to every progressive-minded citizen. Now, I want to suggest that right now, if Mr. Chamisa had been arrested, their party could be doing everything they can to try and help him come out. But they have ignored Mr. Job Sikala, who is languishing there, and they are not doing enough trying to visit Mr. Sikala at Shkurubi Maximum Prison, to me, were crocodile tears for Mr. Chamisa. Yes. There is so much he could do. When Mo Blessing Ali was murdered, we heard people like Tendai Biti, like Job Sikala, speaking uh, uh, boldly and condemning it clearly that yes. they suspected ZANU PF. Mm -hmm. When Mr. Chamisa talks and comments on abductions, murders, human rights abuses of his own party members, he is carefully avoiding sensitive words to make sure that he remains safe. Such a person does not really deserve to occupy the position that he occupies today. He is a very, very cowardly man. And his cowardice is not just a cause for concern. Yes. It is dangerous. The game he is playing and the repercussions of the manner in which he is playing it 
are too dire for us, the church, to ignore. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are worried that we are going to continue seeing the murder, the abuses, the torture of our citizens because of politics whose leader is conveniently running away and avoiding the same challenges that he tells the people that he's willing to go through. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Job Sikala has been arrested too many times. And Mr. Stamisa has never been arrested in that same period. That contrast is worrisome. Yes. I know his supporters are going to challenge <laughs> me, to criticize me and say I have been paid <laughs> by some people to speak like this. I don't care. I told you I am not ice cream. I don't expect to be loved by everyone. <laughs> Mr. Chamisa's behavior leaves a lot to be desired. We don't identify with the politicians. We have no permanent friends. We have no permanent enemies. We have a permanent agenda. Mm -hmm. We speak to you depending on which side you are coming to us from. Yes. I can tell you today that if people of Zimbabwe were wise enough, they could actually see a better leader in Job Zikala than in Nelson Chamisa. Yes. yes. What he believes, he fights for it to the yes. drop of his blood. Mm. He's willing to take a blow for, for what he believes. Ah, oh, Mr. Shamisa is a very calculative man. <laughs> He's a very safe man. Yes. I wish I was Nelson Shamisa. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very safe man. Hmm. Don't tell me that one day was attacked on his way from the airport. Hmm. That was just something that he could not avoid. Hmm. The people that we have that he intends to take power from are bloodthirsty men. Yes. Men who are willing to kill. Mm -hmm. Men who are doing all sorts of atrocities to retain power. For Zimbabweans to think that the person of Chamisa's caliber is the power and what he takes to challenge ZANU-PF's political elite. It's a dream that I pray you you wake up from <laughs> the sooner rather than the later. Yes. We condemn the arbitrary arrests that are being done on Zimbabwean citizens, political activists, <coughs> using the judiciary as its asset. We condemn that as the church of, of God. Yes, we condemn that. And we are speaking with a very, very bold voice and we are not going to back down. Yes. It doesn't matter who they are, it doesn't matter where they come from. When things that are ungodly done, when they are done, we are going to speak. If ZANU-PF does its own political supporters, we will still speak out. Yes. Because ZANU-PF owns nobody. There is no human being in Zimbabwe who was created by ZANU-PF. Yes. They have no monopoly of human life. Everyone must enjoy the gift of life. It's a gift from God. When I talk like this, I'm speaking from God who created that life. Those people who are being murdered yes. and brutalized every day. We desire that as we talk about our problems and proper solutions, we may also appear to be serious in what we do. There is a lot of mistakes and childishness in Ms. Chamisa's method of politics. Mm -hmm. And that is unacceptable because it is costing lives. Yes. If it was just something that was done and people just enjoy themselves, 
we wouldn't worry about it. They are going to suffer the political fallout mm -hmm. from practicing inefficient politics. We are worried because it is it has got a toll on our own safety as Zimbabweans. When people see people are being brutalized, it is not just their supporters who are attacked. Ordinary pastors by are also attacked. Mm. And that's why as the church we are all going to talk about it. We are going to speak. I could have talked to him privately about this. But there are people's lives that are at stake here. And therefore, the diplomacy and the benefits of that diplomacy do not benefit the people of Zimbabwe. Yes. That's where we are going to speak it like this. If you take an offense, go and sleep. In the morning, you feel better. <laughs> We have lost so many people in Zimbabwe due to this childish method of doing things. There's a lot of childishness mm. around what they are doing. Oh, yes. A lot of yes. childishness. Yes. A lot of immaturity. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, kids play mm -hmm. with their politics. And it's taxing us a lot. Yes. People are talking about elections, elections, elections. Mm -hmm. But if you look at how they are doing their things, a normal person should not be having high hopes right now mm -hmm. towards these guys. Mm -hmm. Very disorganized and very, very uh, unrealistic and not objective. The challenge you have and your method of tackling the challenge are not matching. Mm -hmm. It's not fine. It's not right. It's not right. Press conferences and tweets and Facebook blogs and vlogs mm. cannot be seen as serious leadership yes. to a problem that is 42 years old. Yes. This is not good. Yes. It's embarrassing. It's disappointing. And today, I'm warning Zimbabweans, try to frame your mind to accept and to see the worst happening. If you start to have hopes right now that these guys are going to deliver something next year, 2023, I'm telling you, you are dreaming. If they want to be serious, let them take what I've said now and change the way, their method of doing politics. And it is going to, re to, to require them to do a lot, mm -hmm. including restructuring their leadership. Yes. Take away these little children and clowns Yes. That they are giving senior positions to just appear in the camera and speak quotes from Aristotle. <laughs> this is not a movie. This is not Hollywood. Yes. This is life. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Sir Arisi Nenya. Our maturity. maturity has nothing to do with age. Yes. But age plays a role in maturity. Yes. Because time gives you experience. Mm -hmm. All right. I will speak two more things about these guys. Take my take me, take take what I'm saying down. Let's meet after the election next year. <laughs> you are going to buy me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Two things that I'm going to talk about. Very important. I'm going to talk about the spies that are sent into the whole country by Absalom so that he may not find difficulties in Ascending power and ascending on the throne. One of the reasons why Mr. Changirai was not able to be successful in deposing Mr. Mgabe on the throne, it was because Mr. Changirai trusted everyone who joined his party 
and in the long run, MDC became heavily infested with the spies sent by ZANU PF. And those are structural problems that you cannot solve when you do not know how to establish fail safe institutions that have the ability to defend themselves against infiltration. I was I met with Mr. Changrai in 2015. He called me, he wanted to know if he was going to win the 20, 20, 2018 elections. Mm -hmm. I told him he is not going to win the 2018 elections. Mm -hmm. He is never meant to be the president of Zimbabwe. And I told him one of the reasons why you cannot be the president, it is because you have no security <laughs> at all. You are heavily infiltrated by double deepers. And he said, what do you mean? We try as everything we can do. Sometimes we can, we, we. he explained a lot, and I said, it's just an example yes. of some of the failures we have. You are trying to replace a system that is highly militarized yes. with the spies that are trained in China and in Russia. How do you think that you can hire a retired police commissioner and make him head of intelligence. <laughs> what kind of security is that? What security do police officers learn? Police officers are law enforcement agents. Yes. They don't provide security. Yes. They provide order. <laughs> 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 uh, but Mr. Jangirai's head of intelligence was a retired commissioner mm. from the police. It was just an example. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jamisa is making the same mistake. <laughs> <laughs> He's making the same mistake. Uh, yeah. By the time we go to the 2020 election, <laughs> when they do meetings at 1 o'clock, at 10 past 1, the minutes yes, of that dead. meeting will be in Mr. Mnangagwa's mm -hmm. office. <laughs> <laughs> that is not good. Yes. Yes, they are not serious. We're not going to be president in our party. We got to believe what we are told president when you Yeah. Our people do not have high hopes, ambitions, and dreams. They are easily satisfied by things that are ordinary. We need leaders who actually want to deliver services to their people. Yes. Leaders who do not become quiet when they get a benefit themselves. Yes. Those are not leaders. Those are consumers. But are masquerading as leaders. <laughs> it's not good. Yes. It's not good. So as I talk now, I'm asking you, what is what are they going to do to discover the spies that have been planted right now in their party? Mm. And it's going to be discovered. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah. Jabuda. And some of the names that are going to be fingered in spying against the opposition leadership and giving information to the ruling party, some of the names are going to shock you when that happens. Mm. They are going to shock you. <laughs> The members of parliament and the leaders of MDC who defected to ZANU PF, if you listen to what they said when they were interviewed, they said, We are back home. <laughs> the likes of Obed Gutu, he said, I'm back home. <laughs> and nobody asked, Which home are you talking about? Yes. 
Uzamu na kanda zoka kumshaka. Mm. Ima mjifungo tu kwa angari kumshaka kwa angari. Okay. Nofa na ufu nzo tu kwa hidi kutora pesa hapa kutu unekume kumshaka. Yes. Munu waka mbeita MP. Ari mu opposition. Ozo enda kuna join a ruling party. Which, whose ideologies are diametrically opposed. Yes. It's embarrassing for the opposition to have such kind of people yes. holding such high, high positions. Mm-hmm. Yes, Mr. Maridadi was Mr. Chaingraisi personal assistant. Yes. He is now an ambassador on behalf of Zanupia. <laughs> Those are embarrassing things. Yes. Embarrassing developments. Yeah. So I won't talk more about this development, but I'm just expanding your understanding. Some of the things you think are going to change our nation, they are just jokes. The second issue is we do not see Mr. Chamisa commenting on matters that really affect the people of Zimbabwe. We don't see that. We don't see him commenting and criticizing the drugs scandal that was exposed by Opo Shungono. He was quiet. Yes. I tell you today that the expulsion of Obadiah Moy was an admission mm-hmm. on the part of the ruling party.